Amendment Tuesday night. It's time for the midweek encouragement and you caught me doing some shopping. Come on in with me right now. Let's do this. I've got something on my mind for the midweek encouragement. Good question. Just tell me where it is. 36. Uh, I appreciate your help. Let's go, cameraman. <laughs> well, here we are. Come on with me. Look, I'm in the... What does that say, cameraman up there? Camping. Camping section. I'm looking for the biggest tent I can find. A four-person. That's a little too small for our family. That's for sure. I don't know if they have anything bigger. We're looking for a big tent. That's right, because I was thinking about moving out of my house into a tent. What, what? do you all think about that? <laughs> Why are you laughing, cameraman? Okay, I got some. Oh, I'm going to need sleeping bags for my... I'm going to need some mattresses in our move to the tent. Yes, sir. What else do you think we'll need? Are you okay, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, this is all a little bit of a show, but it's kind of fun. And when I was praying about the midweek encouragement this week, I had the idea of a tent. Not because we're moving into a tent, but the Bible is very clear that we should not live attached to this world. Abraham himself lived in tents looking for a builder, for a city whose foundations were eternal. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, we talked about being generous and not needing money. And the idea I wanted to push home in all this stuff here is we don't want to be attached to stuff. We want to live for eternity. We want to live in the idea of tents just going through this world to live for the next. So this week, let's live generous as we head towards Christmas, thinking about the others, the poor, the needy. Be encouraged. Let's build our treasure in eternity like we're living in tents. But don't live in a tent in winter. We'll see you next time on the Midweek Encouragement. Bye-bye!